high-tech helping hand. How Webster Grove's police plan to incorporate drones into their patrols. Sunshine returns today, warm temperatures and breezy conditions, but our next storm alert day for Thursday will time out the details on our next round of stormy weather to come. A peek behind the budget, when you can ask questions about St. Louis City spending in a town hall with the mayor. Athletes aren't the only ones headed to Paris for the Summer Olympics. One St. Louis doctor will be going overseas working with the national track and field team. We sat down with her. We're going to hear her story Wednesday on Today in St. Louis. This is Today in St. Louis, focused on you. We are waking up this morning with a live look at the iconic Gateway Arch and the iconic Eiffel Tower. There we go. 2024, the Olympics in Paris are just 100 days away. 120 years ago, those games were held right here in the city of St. Louis. Good morning, everybody. It is Wednesday, April 17th. I'm Renina. And I'm Michelle Lee. We just want to say thanks for joining us, including those of you who might be catching us on 5 Plus this mm -hmm. morning. Of course, you know, we um, made it through a round of severe weather yesterday. Not all of us, you know, got it, but we are looking forward to, I should say, looking ahead to another Buckle potential up. chance as Buckle well. Buckle up. Yeah. Let's toss things over to Anthony Slaughter now. Good morning, Anthony. Good morning. So today is a break between the storms. We will have sunshine all day long, as you saw from that vantage point. Over the gateway arch, sunny skies, grab the shades. It will be a warm and breezy one today. It's tomorrow when another round of storms will move on through, and that will be on the strong to severe side once again. The storms we had yesterday, yeah, they were spotty, but they did move on through. Uh, most of the worst of the weather yesterday was in Warren County, Lincoln County for our viewing area, but northern Missouri into Iowa, Kansas, and Nebraska had tornadoes yesterday. 71 out the door at Lambert this morning. There are a lot of 60s, and the humidity is still a little high, so it's very comfortable as you head out the door numbers as the humidity falls off today with sunshine up near 82 degrees. It still will be breezy and that sets the stage for more storms tomorrow. We'll talk about the timing of our next storm alert day for Thursday coming up. Let's go over to Paul Cook and get an update on our 6 a.m. traffic. Good morning to you, Paul. Good, Good morning, Rosa. Anthony. Yeah, it's all about delays and we have our first big delay of the morning and an alternate route around it. But you see the big eight here in the middle of the screen. Actually, that's a six. That's a six and not great either. We have an accident here on the Poplar Street Bridge coming into St. Louis and you can tell the alternate route right now if you're leaving in the next 15 minutes will be the MLK. You can use it or you can use the Stan Musial, but 55 at 64 basically Poplar Street Bridge is what we're talking about. And since we're mentioning 64, how you moving out there? Wentzville to 270 really nice and going the other way as well. Plus 64 to the PSB right before that accident. Normal speeds looking at the wide view. Otherwise, you've got good traffic this morning. We'll take another look in just a few minutes. Thank you, Paul. Webster Groves has a new plan to improve safety, but the high tech is uh, something that sparked some controversy recently in our metro area. Diamond Palmer is joining us live from the Webster Groves area with the new additions to the police department, Diamond. Good morning, Michelle and Rennie. Well, the Webster Rose Police Department says they've had access to drones for the last several years, but then it was limited and then none at all until now. Now the city purchased these two new drones for the department for nearly $20,000 and the drones will be used to improve officer safety as well as aiding in search and rescue efforts. Now where we are standing right now in Webster Groves is just 12 miles from the city of St. Louis and Webster Groves has a population of about 24,000 people. So these new devices will be used for traffic crash reconstruction, pre-tactical deployment, patrol led deployment, forensic investigation, searching for lost persons, including using thermal technology, traffic pattern reviews, and drones as first responders. So how this works is a lieutenant and two officers will be among the first people to be trained on these drones with up to a total of four trained drone pilots in the future. The drone program will then allow training at other city departments like fire, public works, and even parks and recreation departments. Police say they'll continue to keep in mind all federal and local local privacy laws and policies. So the topic of drone surveillance and safety has been a controversial issue here in the Metro, including earlier when a private company in Gravelly Park uh, trying to surveil there. But coming up in the next half hour, we'll check in with residents here in Webster Groves and how they're concerned about this new drone program. Reporting live here in Webster Groves, Diamond Palmer, five on your side. 
Thanks so much, Diamond. Now to a story that we've been following for months now in St. Charles County. Today, three men charged in a human trafficking case in defiance will appear in federal court. Venkatesh Sadaru, Nikhil Penmatsa, and Sabrin Penamacha were arrested last year. They're accused of keeping a 20-year-old man from India captive for months and abusing him. The men and Nitya Sataru were indicted this week on forced labor charges. Uh, Nitya pleaded not guilty in federal court on Monday. Today, St. Louis Mayor Tashara Jones is answering your questions about city spending. She's holding a virtual town meeting about the upcoming budget. You could join on the city's Facebook page starting at 615 this evening. Well, good morning. We do have an accident on the Poplar Street Bridge. This used to be the case uh, quite often, but not usually has it been a big problem. You see red on our map and you can also see our color coding stop and go. It's too soon for that just to be volume related. So a multi car accident here on the Poplar. I want to draw your attention to the alternate route top of the screen. The MLK bridge could take you through there or maybe it's one of those things where you're midtown or you go to South City. Go ahead and try the JB bridge if you're a little bit further to the south or chain of rocks up north. Quite a few uh, solutions there. The big one is we don't want you to get stuck in that delay because that could ruin your Wednesday morning or at least start you off with a little bit of a headache. 270 northbound at 44 watching that one very closely as well and 6440 at 270. Things are moving there in town and country. We'll have another take of traffic just a few minutes away. All right, as the kids head off to the bus stop this morning, it's warm and dry 60s out the door. We'll have a breezy sunny day today. High temperatures near 82 degrees. And keeping Team USA healthy, a St. Louis doctor headed to the 2024 Olympic Games shares what it's like to care for the country's top athletes. Fun fact, the 1904 Olympic Games were not supposed to be held in St. Louis. Chicago actually got the bid, but the Olympic Committee switched to St. Louis to coincide with the World's Fair. All right, I want you back at the fabulous Fox Theater <laughs> to see MJ the Musical on the stage, May 28th through June 9th. We're going to give away free tickets thanks to the Fox. Go to KSDK.com uh, slash contest, and we will announce a winner on Friday.